All right, so lesson 41 is finding a percent of a number. So here we have, right, 15% in decimal form. So if you remember, 15%, this percent signs means per hundred. Okay, so let's first write this as a fraction. So 15% is the same as 15 per hundred. Okay, now I can turn this into a decimal place because I know that this 15 up here needs to be in the hundredths place value. So the hundredths place value is the second one. So it'll be 15 hundredths, and that's my correct answer. In this one, it asks us to write 75% as a reduced fraction. So again, 75%, the percent means per hundred, so, we, so that is the same as 75 per hundred. Okay, and I can reduce that down by dividing the top and the bottom by 25, and I get 3 fourths. Right, and this, this one, which is what number is 75% of 20, in this case we have to kind of figure out what it's asking. So we have what number, and when we don't know what it is, we always put in a letter. Okay, Is, uh, is our equal sign. Is means equals. Two, 75%. Uh, we learned in the last problem that 75% is the same as 3 fourths, and it's actually simpler to multiply, to work with fractions and decimals than a percent. So 3 fourths of is multiply, and then 20. And we'll just do 20 over 1. Now remember, you cannot multiply by a percent. You have to change it to a fraction or a decimal. So in this case, we're going to change it to a fraction. So let's go ahead and do the problem. So 3 times 20 is 60, divided by, and 4 times 1 is 4. So 60 divided by 4 is 15. So 75% uh, of 20 is 15. Now we can also do this with using a decimal number. So let's rewrite it using a decimal. So we'd have what number again is equal 75% now becomes a decimal, which is 0.75 of 20. So in this case, we're going to multiply these numbers. So we're going to do 20 times 0.75. Five times zero is, actually it's easier to flip those around. So hold on just a second. We're going to do 0.75 times 20. And I'll show you why. So in this one, zero times the top is just zero. So I can cancel that out and put my zero placeholder. Two times five is 10, carry my one. Two times seven is 14, plus one is 15. Now I need, remember, I need to count the decimal places. We have one, two decimal places, so I'm gonna move it over one, two decimal places. So my answer is 15. Okay. Same answer, I can do it either way, whichever one is simpler. Alright, so on this one, Jamal correctly answered 80% of the 25 questions. How many questions did he answer correctly? So we first need to change, so we have 80% 80% of, that's multiply, the 25 questions. Okay, So I can choose whether to change this into a fraction or a decimal. I'm going to change it into a fraction. It's a little bit easier. So 80% is 80 over 100, which is equal to 4 fifths. So we're going to do 4 fifths times 25 over 1. 4 times 25 is 100. 5 times 1 is 5, so 100 divided by 5 is equal to 20. That is the correct answer. Now this one's tricky with sales tax. So it wants us to find, so it gives us the sales tax is 6%. It wants us to find the tax on a $12 purchase and then find the total price including the tax. 
So first we need to figure out how much we have to pay extra with sales tax. And to do that we're going to multiply 6% by 12. Now remember I cannot multiply by a percent. I need to change that into a fraction or a decimal. When working with money you will want to change your percent into a decimal because your money comes in the decimal form. So we're going to have 6% is equal to 0 0.06. So we're going to multiply 12 by or 12 times 0 0.06. Okay. So 6 times 2 is 12, carry my 1. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Now I'm not going to have to multiply the rest cuz 0 multiplied by anything is 0. So I need to count in my decimal places. So we have 1, 2, so I'm going to go over 1, 2. So the sales tax is 72 cents. Now what I need to do is add that 72 cents to the original purchase amount. Okay, so I start with $12. I need to add the tax to get my final total. So 0 plus 2 is 2. 0 plus 7 is 7, bring the decimal straight down, $12.72 is my answer. Hey, I hope that helps. Good luck on your homework.